Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, it's your guy, the corporate security translator and also the author of So You Want to Get Into Security. Hey, wanted to talk to my military law enforcement, kind of emergency uh, management folks, emergency services and the federal folks that are retiring in the next three to five years. If you're retiring in the next three to five years and you want to make a transition into the corporate security world, here's how I think you should start thinking about doing it. So step one out of three, and I think they're the most important uh, things that you should be doing right now. Are you retired? Are you retired? Step one, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Are you my buddy? That's another concept that I think it's great. And last but not least, I'm part of that group. Three concepts, here we go. Are you retired? Right now, there's somebody in your group of peers that are retiring, either law enforcement, military, emergency services, or, uh, or federal. Get to know them, ask them where they're going, what they're doing, how do they get to where they're going? What, did it, what is it that they did in order to get that corporate job if that's where they're going? Who do they talk to? Who are their friends? What happened? Stay and be, and be in that person's friendship circle because what's gonna happen to be the five years from now? You're the one that's retiring and guess who they get to hire? You, that's correct. So that's concept number one. Concept number two, I am your buddy. Now that's important because all the time that we deal with any corporate ent entity from the security manager down to the CEO of any company whatsoever, we should right now in the next three to five years, bring our A game, be great customer service based, be a, a team player for them, not for you. Make sure that you understand what the concepts that they're looking for. Make sure that you listen, become a better listener. Make sure that you really think about their business and how you can help their business. It's important. Let me tell you something. I was a law enforcement officer. And one thing I can tell you is that we call it routine calls. Yeah, that was another routine call. Today, got to change that. The next three to five years before you retire, don't make any more routine calls. Every call you go to is an important call. It's a customer service based call because if you continue going to these calls as a routine call, when they get your resume three to five years from now, on their desk, they're gonna look at it and say, that's a routine resume and that person, that person is a routine person too and you don't want that. The last concept, which I think is also super important, I'm part of that group. I am part of ASIS and I am a CPP. The great thing about a group like ASIS, by the way, there's plenty of them out there, but the great part of it is that you get to learn stuff. You get to learn about security systems, access control systems, all these things that usually we don't deal with in the military or, 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 or law enforcement side of the house or emergency services. You get to meet a lot of friends, a lot of great people in the security industry that can help you through that transition. A lot of people that you want to shake hands and hug babies with because they're the ones that are going to hire you in the future. Great groups, be part of it, get certified, do a lot of things with those groups in order to create some awesome relationships. So again, three concepts I think are totally important. Are you retiring? The second one, are you my buddy? Yeah. And the third one is, I'm in that group too. That's right. So don't forget to pick up so you want to get into security. And for all of those folks transitioning, good luck. Take care. Bye.